Hey everyone and welcome back to Film Zone. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Dan Schneider getting exposed. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video. Let's get started. If you've ever seen one episode of any Nickelodeon show, then you're probably familiar with the backstory of Nick's kingpin ruler Dan Schneider. Schneider was a comedian, actor, and now producer of Nickelodeon shows. With the great success, of course, comes with great scandals. Well, in most cases, at least. Nickelodeon is no exception to being a network with some creepy, sketchy stories that have slowly been surfacing throughout the years. As more of our well-known Nick stars grow up and become legal adults starting their lives and excelling in their careers, more and more tea is getting spilled on what may have gone on behind the scenes in the depths of the studios of Nickelodeon. Dan Schneider's career started in the 80s through the 90s when he was a supporting actor in some movies and some sitcom TV shows. Dan took to behind the scenes after he decided he didn't want to be an actor, henceforth he began his career at Nickelodeon after hosting the second annual Kids' Choice Awards in 1988. Schneider was soon hired to help get a new show up and running, All That, a teen sketch comedy show that many of us grew up on. Since then, until 2018, he was the man behind the scenes on basically every single Nickelodeon show. Here by the robot. Hold on, let's see what's happening. <clears throat> see what's happening back Oh no! Uh, I haven't got my costume on yet. Are we close to rolling? <laughs> Sorry, caught Jerry in a bad moment there. However, if you've been on any part of the internet since the mid-2010s, then you're probably aware of the major scandal that started taking the heat regarding Dan Schneider. Since then, there have been more and more celebrities coming forward stating that there have been scandals and saying that there were more and more creepy instances of Dan Schneider that have affected these celebrities at very young ages. He's pretty creepy. There's always been something creepy going on with him to the point where it is totally noticeable. Enough about his success, let's get into what makes him so darn creepy. So what would happen is that your parents would send you to sort of like this camp. It was basic acting classes and it was an opportunity for the kids to get discovered. And Dan Schneider is known for having a low-key foot fetish. Yikes. Ever notice the literal logo of Nickelodeon? A giant orange foot? Sure it can be fun and playful for kids to laugh at and certainly tunes into the childish playful status of Nickelodeon. However, the more you dig into it, it is certainly creepy and weird. Pay close attention to each episode of any show on Nick and you might notice a recurring theme of characters bare feet having something to do with the episode. That can easily be related back to Dan's musings as he somehow found a way to add feet into the mix. Creepy. Just look at this compilation of iCarly's Jeanette McCurdy who played Sam and how much Schneider wrote feet into her character. Super weird. And this certainly isn't the first time others have noticed this strange occurrence. Just gross. Come on, kid. Don't feel all bad. I do feel all bad. Here. You can have your big fork back. Thanks. I thought you loved this big fork. I did. Another theme that tends to show up in tons of Nickelodeon shows is Snyder's creepy way to constantly sneak in dirty and adult jokes, almost in every episode, like, is that really necessary? It's always kind of funny to get a laugh out of a kid's show that only an adult might get from time to time, but now knowing that Schneider is certainly a creepy dude, just as to what he may have been thinking during writing this. Having his teen actors making inappropriate jokes all the time. Victorious had a great time incorporating adult jokes into their show directed to teens about teens. Don't forget to leave a comment if you notice any of these jokes as a tween. And then they can turn off the lasers and we can get out of here. Uh, you'd have to be pretty skinny to slide under that laser beam and not hit it. So which one of us is the flattest? <laughs> Ever notice how almost every single Nick show features a female lead character? Some people assume that it's because Dan is actually a pedophile who preys on teen girls. But others dismiss this as saying that it's normal for Hollywood to breed young women into main characters of TV shows. Is this true? Well, who's to say? But there have been quite a few creepy instances where Dan has done some weird things to the actresses on the shows that have not quite sat right with the viewers. One of the instances was Ariana Grande being sexualized before her, and this sh video shows her saying interesting sentences in addition to that there are photos that resurface every once in a while showing Dan Schneider getting quite cozy with the teen girls and photo shoots behind the scenes of videos. That's all the time we have for today guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.